Hi, welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have discussed about this delete operation. In this video, we are going to do update operation. The update operation is little bit different than the adding a book and deleting a book. We are going to do this in two steps. The first step, we need to convert this edit text into a button. When the user click the update button, we have to get the respective record and we have to pre-populate in these text boxes. For that, we are going to make a HTTP GET request to this service endpoint, which is slash API slash book slash the book ID. This will give us the book object in a JSON format. And once we have done that, in the second step, the user will make a changes and the user will click the add book. This time, we have to update the record instead of adding a new record. That is our second step. So let's do it step by step. The first step, we need to convert this text into a button. Let's do that. Go to the book.component.html I'm going to create a button update and I'm going to call angular on click event and I'm going to call a method get book by id To this method, we will pass the book ID. We have not yet created this method. We are going to create this in a minute. Save this. Inside the book.service.ts, I'm going to create a method. I'm going to call this get book by ID. And this will take a book ID as argument. I'm going to call this book ID, which is of type string this will return an observable which is of type book inside this I will make use of this HTTP service this dot HTTP service dot get to this get method we will pass the service endpoint I'm going to copy this And I'll paste it and I'm going to append the book ID which is coming from here on this I'm going to call a map method we will get a response I'm going to call this response which is of type response and I will use an arrow function and I'm going to call JSON method on this response object response dot JSON and if something went wrong we have to handle that exception so I'm going to call a catch method on this and I'm going to call up our private method which we have created in one of our previous videos which is handle error this dot handle error and I'm going to return this save this inside the book dot component dot ts I'm going to create a method I'm going to call this get book by id I'm going to pass book id which is of type string inside this I will make use of the book service object or the book service variable this dot book service dot I'm going to call the service method which is get book by id to this I will pass the book id on this I'm going to call the subscribe method we will get the response I'm going to call this book data I'm going to assign this book data to this variable which is book this dot book is equal to book data and I'm going to call the get books method to refresh the table and if we get an error response I'm going to log that error response to the console I'm going to call this error inside this I will log to the console 
console.log and I will pass the error object and save this go to the browser this will re reload the web page and now when you click on this update button you can expect the value should be populating in this text boxes but it is not let's figure out by pressing F12 in the console we are not getting any exception which means we have made some mistake in the component.html let's close this and go to the component.html and inside this okay this is not on click it is click let's save this and go to the browser and now click the update button you can see that the values are populating in the text boxes let's click one more record I'm going to click this two states you can see that the values are populating in the text boxes now in the second step if the user make any changes to these records and when the user click the add book the record should be updated it should not create a book how do we do that that is coming up in the next video that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video